I'm here to talk about restoring the order and bringing out the champion within. You wouldn't be here right now if Coach and the rest of the coaches here, the best coaching staff in the country, didn't think you had a champion inside. I'd just like to share with you a story of tragedy to triumph. When I left Kansas State, I took a job as a federal inspector for the USDA and I went to work down on the Gulf Coast of Texas in Corpus Christi. My job was to check those big grain elevators that have 40 foot diameter silos. I'd heard that they explode, that grain dust is more explosive than dynamite, gasoline, and atomic energy. I was working one day and it was me and a supervisor in a government office because I was a federal inspector. It was just right next to those big silos. I heard what sounded like thunder and then in just fractions of a second, it, it sounded like an earthquake and everything started rattling and shaking and the cracking and popping got so loud, it's like it's gonna split my head wide open. Even though this is, I know, nice soft Nike turf, it's still, if you went over the top of those goalposts and landed at that other end, it might hurt a little bit, right? They were gonna leave me uh, because uh, when they found me in the parking lot, the paramedics, my body was broken over at my chest like you've been at the waist and I was laying in a pool of blood. I had blood and cerebral spinal fluid oozing out of my ears, my nose, and my mouth. One paramedic didn't want to leave me. And they ran out of ambulances and stretchers. So you know how I got to the hospital? On a blown off door in the back of a station wagon. And I got to ICU and then they didn't even give me a 50% chance of survival, <coughs> of living. Stay positive, never think about you're gonna let your life get away from you. You gotta fight for your life, right? You can't give up. Well, the doctors told me the good news is we saved your life, but you're gonna be confined for the rest of your life, paralyzed from the chest down, confined to a wheelchair. I played football in college and track, and I love sports, and all from junior high through high school in college. But, uh, and then I even joined the rugby team and the local YMCA when I moved to Texas. And I heard they were gonna have a wheelchair race in the Olympic Stadium. I said, there's no way that they're gonna have, I, I pictured these people in a rest <laughs> home and hospital in them all hospital chairs, right? I said, there's nobody gonna let those people run in the Olympic Stadium. My brother invited me to come to this Peachtree Road Race. It's the largest 10K road race in the world. Over 50,000 people run the race. And I showed up in my old hospital chair. I saw these guys in these other wheelchairs like this one here. Can everybody see that? Okay. And like I said, I thought I could beat those guys. They'd need those fancy chairs to beat me because I was an athlete. I played sports and all through junior high and through college and was playing rugby down in Texas. So I said, bring it on, Betty. I hadn't trained, I wasn't prepared to go run this race. We all need a little motivation sometime, right, to get over the obstacles we run into. Like you guys have run into a few obstacles this season and you've got to get over them. You've got to put them behind you. And you've got to fight as hard as you can to sacrifice, do the extra work that it takes to be champions. And that's what we talk about, bringing the champion out from within. You just got to keep at it. Don't give up. And keep doing the right things. You can get over those obstacles in life. I sure wish I'd had coaches uh, Wildcat goals for success when I was at my peak as a wheelchair athlete. But Coach Snyder's got commitment, unselfishness, unity, come together as a team like never before improve every day as a player, a person, and a student. You know, be tough, self-discipline, great effort, enthusiasm, eliminate mistakes, never give up. I can relate to that one. Don't accept losing. No self-limitations. Consistency, leadership, and responsibility. Now every one of those, I call it can I, constantly and never ending improvement. However you can get motivation, 
to make yourself better, to work harder out here every practice and everything you do. Don't waste your opportunities because I had to get blown the length of the football field to figure out that the harder I worked, the better I got. The more I focused mentally, physically, spiritually in everything that I did, the better I became as an athlete to bring the champion out from within. Coaches won that award. It's named after Paul Bear Bryant for Coach of the Year. And that's given to the greatest coach in college football. One of the sayings the Bear had was, it's not how big you are, it's how you bring the load that matters. They got a heart that's probably nine foot tall and weighs 300 pounds. So, you know, they got that heart of the champion. And I like what Bear Bryant said that they give to the National Coach of the Year. If you believe in yourself and you have the dedication and pride and never give up, you'll be a winner. The price of victory is high, but so are the rewards. So I'd like to leave you with one thought, all right? What's stopping you? Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Kevin. Let's do it again. Kevin, we appreciate you a great deal. Thank you.